Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine on this fantastic Sunday morning, let's start right now with our Bitcoin TA, later on we're also gonna have a look quickly on the longs versus shorts ratio and also on the current hash rate of Bitcoin. So let's start first in a one hour time frame because Bitcoin is still trading sideways. We had here a surprisingly breakout here to the upside from this potential descending triangle after we have seen that yesterday we had this monster week here to the upside and downside and then immediately recovered back where we are at again here at around $9,350. And keep in mind that the CMEs closed right at this level here at $9,340 and uh, tomorrow we're gonna start again here to trade on the CME chart and there we're gonna have a potential new future gap if we're gonna see a big pump or dump during the next couple of hours but currently we are right there where we close the CME so it is possible today that we're gonna have a boring Sunday that the price is just trading sideways and we don't see any uh, big moves but uh, currently you can see that we broke out here to the upside and I think we could be in here if we're gonna have a move to somewhere then to the upside towards here the new resistance of around 9550 because in the S&P mini futures we had a very similar move here we broke out here to the upside from this potential descending triangle we topped out here at the new resistance and then we immediately got rejected and started to trade again here at the bottom of this potential descending triangle and it also looks like that we could break out here to the downside as soon as we're gonna open the market again on Monday. So let's keep an eye also here on the S&P mini futures on a Monday because I think this could also lead where Bitcoin is gonna trade next and that's why I'm still not in a trade right now. I'm still waiting for Monday to open the markets again and of course also the CMEs but currently it looks like that we could see a similar formation and I think a pump here towards the new resistance is possible and there if we're gonna get rejected there I might think to open up a little short position. So here in the one hour we have the RSI right at the 50, stochastic coming down into oversold condition and you see that we are squeezing here between all the moving averages here, so especially here between the 20 and 200. So I think also here we're gonna have here a move to the upside or to the downside unless really we're gonna just start to trade sideways here between these moving averages here in the one hour. And also if you go over to the Bollinger Band you can see that we're trading right in the middle here, so between 9360 and 9330. MACD could have a bearish cross here. Let's see if this is gonna play out because in theory then we could drop easily towards $9,250 again and there of course we're gonna open up a new future gap up to $9,300 in case that we're gonna stay in this region down here until the CMEs are gonna open again. So I definitely gonna have a look where we're gonna open up the CMEs. Uh, tomorrow but currently I am still waiting here for the next move before we're gonna open the CMEs again and if we go over to the four hour time frame here you can see that currently we are trading below the 50 and 200 moving average the 20 moving average so far is holding as a support currently we have three candles above the 20 moving average this could indicate that we could see here a potential move here again towards the 200 moving average at 9440 and test it the problem problem is only that the RSI is right at the 50 and stochastic is coming into overbought condition so here it looks like that we could get rejected again from the 50 in the RSI and if we go over into the Bollinger Band here in the 4 hour we are also here right in the middle area here it also looks like that we could see a bounce from it and a retest here of 9440 so the top of the Bollinger Band MACD is also shifted to the upside so also here it looks like that we could see a bounce here and a retest of this 9440 level and now let's go back to the bitstamp chart and open up the daily time frame because here you can see that currently the 50 daily moving average is holding as a resistance so that is bearish and I'm expecting here still a big drop to the downside possible to test again the first fib line here of $8,900 RSI is right at the 50 stochastic oversold so we have to recover immediately back up and close candles above 50 and 20 daily moving average so above 9500 so as long as we are not starting to create a new support above 9500 I think we are definitely shifted to the downside and we 
could be in this potential falling wedge here in the daily before we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and retest the new resistance that currently could line up here towards the 9,800 to 10,000 dollar. The red line that is coming down here is the main resistance that we need to break in case of a breakout here to the upside from this falling wedge. This would take us straight back here to retest the main resistance and also possible break it because the target would be up here of this falling wedge so up here at ten thousand four hundred dollar that would also bring us above the main resistance that is coming down us and then we have to see if we are able to create a support here above 10k or not and if we have a look on the bollinger band in the daily here you can see that we're still trading in the lower end so here in theory also we could fall easily towards 9160 again macd still shifted to the downside so as long as here i'm not gonna see a bullish cross in the macd i'm still not in a bullish bias so i'm still waiting here this to cross and also to start to trade in the upper area of the bollinger band because in theory here we could also pump towards 9900 dollar and the important time frame here, the weekly, here you can see that in the weekly time frame, in theory, we are still very bullish. So for the longer time frames, everything is still looking good. And we should expect here a big breakout from this resistance because we still are trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average, which is very bullish. They're lining up here perfectly at around $8,500. RSI is still above the 50. Stochastic is coming in overbought condition. So let's see if here we're going to have a final move, a final dump here to the downside before we really can start to take off here because the weekly time frame is still looking very bullish even here in the bollinger band we are right at the middle area so here also in theory we should see a big bounce to the upside which could take us in theory towards eleven thousand two hundred dollar macd is also shifted to the upside so here in the weekly even though we could see a week to the downside everything is still looking bullish only if we are starting to trade below eight thousand dollar and close all the weekly candles below eight thousand two hundred dollar then I think we could be in here for a big move to the downside and we could easily also drop here towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band which currently is at $5,400 and if we go back to the Bitstamp chart you can also see that the 200 weekly moving average is here at around $6,000 so this area here between $5,400 to $6,400 where also the 0.618 Fib line is lining up could be really the worst case scenario in case that we would see also the stock market plan like crazy so if we have another crash like we had in March I think this could be the targets but even if we would drop down there and bounce from it we would still create a higher low which is very bullish for the longer time frames and from here on we could gear up for a next move here to test the main resistance and also break it and don't forget if we are going to do and see this formation we also gonna create this possible inverse head and shoulders that could take us towards new all-time highs then because in that case we would break also here the main resistance that is coming down and in that case if we're gonna have this right shoulder the main resistance would be at around nine thousand dollar and i think latest on that attempt to break this line here will be successful so that's why this could be really the last opportunity to buy some cheap bitcoins if we really drop that low and now we can go over to the longs and shorts quickly because here you can still see that currently we still have a lot of longs compared to shorts so I want to see this flipped in order to start to scale in a big long position and buy everything that I have left on the sideline here in fiat back into Bitcoin. I want to see the sentiment negative again in order to go back all in again. So all the profits that I took here between 9,600 to 9,800, I'm planning to scale in as long as I see this flipped and as soon as we're gonna reach the bearish targets here between 8,000 to 6,000 dollar. And if we have a look also on the Bitcoin hash rate, you can see that currently we are still taking hits here. So we are creating a lower highs and lower lows, which could be a bit bearish. But if we continue to create this pattern, this could also looks like a potential falling wedge, which could break out to the upside if we can draw on here patterns in this chart. But also here it looks a bit bearish here as long as we are taking here always lower lows and lower highs. So this is what is 
concerning me a bit and that's why I still think we could be in here for a potential dump before we really start to take off. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. And if you're interested in trading and you want to take all these gains with you with the next pump or dump then make sure that you're ready to trade over on Bybit. If you need an account on Bybit you find the link down below here in the video description because with my link you can get some sign up bonus and also if you want to trade gold for example I recommend you Femex there also if you use my sign up link you can get $72 completely for free sign up bonus and also you can use of course BTR and PrimeXPT those are also leverage exchanges and with my links you can get some bonuses as well. Don't forget also to join our free Discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and the live streams I'm doing over on Twitch so if you have Twitch or you're interested in the live stream make sure also to join me over on Twitch. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we see us all in the next one. Bye.